So hello guys what's up and welcome back to another video if you are new to my youtube channel welcome my name is lillian this is a reaction video see some of us are not going to sit down and allow this disrespect to continue for nigerians that have lost their lives it is so painful and when i see that i'm going to talk because so many people have lost their lives and we have nigerians struggling to mask that the question is what are you trying to achieve with that fine there is this nigerian woman that i have talked about on my channel severally i have tried my best to expose her because she is fake and very sneaky i've talked about it but i think there are people who love to be mislead i am not going to be responsible for that so now she's back again with another video and this time she's lying against nigeria and we nigerians are so disgraced publicly and here i am wondering what points are you trying to prove why do you put in so much energy into proving lies like you are proving that you are lying without you realizing it and this can only happen when people think they are intelligent when people think that smartness and intelligence is the same thing it is not fine i will not deny that you may be smart mm -hmm. being fake and not knowing you are fake is a sign of smartness that is okay but sometimes you drag everybody along with you and it hurts so bad why do you have to lie by staging an interview with your fellow Nigerian, telling her to lie that she's Ghanaian. I mean, is that how interviews are done? But all of that is not even the big deal for this video. The biggest deal here is why so much disrespect for the dead? For young Nigerians, like a 13 years old Nigerian that was kidnapped alongside her mom and her siblings, and then later murdered and had her body dumped by the roadside so much disrespect for that innocent child by you coming out you coming out to say that insecurity in nigeria are all staged there is nothing like that nigeria is not going through it's not struggling in terms of there are no insecurity in nigeria i mean i find that to be so disrespectful to families that have lost their loved ones to the insecurity in nigeria and i find it very disrespectful to the soul of nigerians to these nigerians that have lost their lives due to insecurity in nigeria you coming in front of the whole world to lie against them that they stage their own death that is what you are saying now i want to pray for you and i expect that you respond may all that you say they are staging <laughs> let me let me leave it because for the sake of your kids i mean i find that to be so insensitive i mean like how do you reason like how do you come up with that how do you feel with yourself saying that people lied about insecurity in nigeria i know you are trying to be a good ambassador and you want your dump audience to think of you highly that is exactly what people with lose self-esteem do they want every opportunity they get to prove a point and i see you do that and i feel for you but it's none of my business but you coming online to disgrace i mean to insult the dead he said no it's wrong it is too insensitive of you because you want to prove to international communities that nigeria is a very peaceful country and you can't find other ways to do it but lie against the dead so unfortunate and very very embarrassing truth is i am so disappointed that a mother would do what you are doing now let's go to the so-called interview and analyze it bit by bit to point out all the ugly lies in the video that is making you look dumb but you can't see because you think you are smart anyways lies number one in the video is that the woman is Ghanaian that woman is not a Ghanaian lies number two and in case you are doubting me and you're wondering how let me play the clip so you will see what I'm talking about. Man is also a Ghanaian. Yes. And he's doing well. Very well. I love your good testimony about Nigeria. So ever since you've been in Nigeria, 
any form of insecurity did somebody rob you have you experienced any form of robbery walaying or anything like that well nobody interviews someone like that the first thing you do as a journalist that you and your journalists whatever whatever agbaya that went to write about nigerian youtubers on, on vanguard news nigerian youtubers in ghana i think you guys are so dumb because i still don't get it can't you read in between the line like he, the man said i have not interviewed any nigerian that is into business showcasing them so that people can see that it's not every nigerian that is into dubious businesses whereas i have done that in the past and what i usually do is i ask them where are you from because they have mouth and they can speak because they are not lying they will tell me where they are from they will say it and my audience will hear it you walk into someone's business like you want to arrest her you're sounding so arrogant is that how to do interview you didn't ask her where she's from you just saying you and your husband you are both you are both Ghanaians, right and the woman said yes so where in ghana is she from that she's not proud to say you are a liar let's go to the second one the second one is where she asks the woman this question so ever since you've been in nigeria any form of insecurity did somebody rob you have you experienced any form of robbery walaying or anything like that well nigeria our country mm. we are always we are smart about that did you all see that she cut the part where the woman was trying to respond you cut it why you cut them why you cut them you don't do your rehearsals very well next time get a smarter person don't go for people like that that woman is just doing her thing regardless of her nationality who say i know she's not a Ghanaian. you are lying mm -hmm. but when you ask someone a question have they pointed a gun in your head before you are supposed to give her a chance to answer you cut it off what did you cut we want to see bring us the whole video let's see what she responded and made you cut it and then you ask her another question uh, are you have you heard of any insecurity in nigeria and you cut it madam you are a liar and it's wrong it's so embarrassing because you are supposed to be someone because a lot of dumb people already believe that you are smart you are intelligent you should have just taken advantage of that to prove that you are indeed smart or to prove that you are intelligent but your low self-esteem issues won't let you your self-esteem issues won't let you shine when you get every when you get an opportunity to actually shine you use it you lie foolishly and still post the video according to the video this supposed Ghanaian woman has lived in nigeria for more than 30 years uh, let's go back and take a look at the person that have lived in nigeria for more than 30 years how old is she let's go and see the things I cheap just that this year is just somehow but we thank God since we are with the fact that she is not okay. I mean she's struggling. Even at that we know that that woman is no more than she's not even up to 30 years. Uh -huh. And she wasn't born in Nigeria. So her husband married her and took her to Nigeria. So how come he married a fetus in her mother's womb? or you married what when you want to lie make it make sense you are lying and everything is just out there people can't tell you the truth because they think you have sense but you don't yeah but i mean what is this exactly if you love nigeria it's not about the dead people that you will come on online to insult you saying that all the people that have died due to insecurity are lying what are you trying to prove and now you went to disgrace nigeria this way you said do they used to charge you higher in school when you're paying school fees in ghana my kids are in private school from the crunch to senior high government school in ghana do not ask nigerians to pay anything for be because they are nigerians except the unis if your kids are in public schools in Ghana, they don't pay anything, regardless of your nationality, regardless of your status in the country, whether you are, you are legal or illegal. Nobody asks you about that. Nobody tells you, go bring your Ghana card. Now, fine, there are circulations that 
Nigerians pay higher for houses or goods and services. For me, I have not had to deal with that. But I can't sit down here and completely say they are lying. But when it comes to public sectors, apart from tourist sites in Ghana, where, of course, as a foreigner, you pay higher than a citizen, I think you should know why. I think you should do your research. I mean, because why not? They want to subsidize for their citizens. Why not? But when it comes to education or health, whether you are legitimately living in Ghana or illegitimately living in Ghana, as long as you are under the health insurance scheme in Ghana, you pay the same amount that a Ghanaian pays. A Ghanaian that is not under the health insurance scheme, a Ghanaian that is not under the health insurance scheme in Ghana pays the same amount a Nigerian that is not under the health insurance scheme in, in Ghana pays. I don't know what point you're trying to prove. And she wanted to respond to you. She wanted to tell you, eh, then they, we they lie. We say, we not agree now. We not agree, say, we be foreigner. Oh, do they pay separate school fees from Nigeria? No, they are nice. Nigerians are very nice people. Be honest, they don't collect fees because we are no, though they ask us our name. Mm. So they you know, know you're a foreigner, yeah. They know we are foreigner, but we too, we know they agree now. Say we'll be foreigner. Mm. Uh -huh. So if she agrees, say she'll be foreigner, the Nigerian government will make her pay higher. Don't you have sense? That one is a lie. They know they do like that for Nigeria. But you were too busy, you think you are smart, you didn't see all the parts that you should cut. Don't you have sense? Please, thank you very much. You have successfully created an impression in the hearts of the international communities that Nigerians charge foreigners higher than the church citizens. Thank you. Because of what? Fine. She told you she's lying. So if she wasn't lying, she would be forced to pay high. And then she went on to ask her this question. Uh, do Nigerians are Nigerians nice to, nice to you and Nigerians treating you poorly because you're a foreigner and the lady wanted to answer of course she caught it thank God for the Yoruba people though. Mm? thank God for the Yoruba people of course so why did her Yoruba landlady ask her where she's from now guys for those of you that are not Nigerians the reason the Yoruba woman may have asked this thing for her landlady to have asked I mean the supposed Ghanaian woman's landlady have asked her where she's from is not because she's concerned that this lady may be a foreigner. Maybe you should tell the world why she's asking. Because there are people that some Nigerians don't want to give houses to. And these people are also Nigerians. It, it has nothing to do with she being a foreigner or not. Okay? It has nothing to do with that. But why did they ask? Because in Ghana here, they will ask you, where are you from? If you are a Liberian, you get a house. <laughs> if you are a South African, of course, you get a house. If you are Kenyan, you get a house. If you are from Benin, you can't speak English. You may be needing, a, you may be needing an interpreter. They will still give you a house. But we, we don't get a house. <laughs> why? In Nigeria, they will still ask you, where are you from? If you are a foreigner, you will get a house. If you are a Nigerian, they know you go struggle to rent. Why? All these insensitive talks you're talking down on the debts. I hope that if it happens to you, you can handle it. Because there are so many Nigerians that have lost their lives due to insecurity. And I, Lillian, is not and will never. I cannot completely blame our government for the insecurity in Nigeria. Because I believe that we Nigerians should play a role because if we have played our role well the security challenge in the country will not have overwhelmed the security agencies the way it has now you will wake up and pick up your ugly mobile phone with low light that is a phone that my niece is using let me show you the phone my, my little girl is using you want to do youtube you are a fake person can't you invest I've given you this advice now. Take it as insult. You lose. Take it. If I will, I'll cut this part off. So now that you are doing all of this, I hope that when it happens to you and your family, you or your family, you will still come out to say all oh, the insecurities are fake because I know you're kind. When it happens to other people, you will say it's karma. When it happens to you, you will accuse your village people. 
I hope that you know you are being very disrespectful and unfair and unjust to the dead. I hope you know that. Whatever you are trying to achieve, are you now telling the government of Nigeria not to do something about the current insecurity in the country? What is your stress for a YouTube video that will end you what? Okay, because you like all this, your stupid illiterate at your comment section that comes there to tell you, hey, sis, you are doing well. Because they don't have sense. When they see you, you consult them. You want to do interview with people, do it well. You say you are a journalist, Abby. Indeed, speaking English is not everything. Seriously, this is just like an empty vessel. And this is just like a vessel that everyone thinks contains a law. But in reality, there is nothing inside. Thank you very much. I hope that if I were you, I'll private that video because it's such an insult. It's such you are you are you are making me shame, and I'm ashamed on your behalf. But it's okay. Your foolish audience will still come here and try to insult me. But I'll be here anyways to give them back. Ta ta. You know now. <laughs> Bye everyone.